Welcome to the League of Legends patch preview. We'll be going over some of the major balance changes coming into the next patch for League of Legends. This video will not cover every change made to the game, but we want to share our thought process for some of the major ones. I'm Freak, and I'm joined here with Morello, lead champion designer. Together, we'll talk about some of the problems we're trying to solve in the next update. Shaco has a nice set of bug fixes coming into the next patch. What can Shaco players expect to see in this patch and in the future? We've squashed a number of them, particularly with uh, Jack in the Box and one with Clone. All the weird bugs where you could see them when you were stealth, they didn't act kind of how you'd expect them to be, those should all be cleaned up now and you should get kind of that expected behavior out of Jack in the Box again. We also made it so his clone shows up as a minimap icon and shows items. So it's going to be a little tougher to tell between Shaco and the clone again. So he can actually use those deceptive plays where he goes in the bush and sends his clone out and then deceives out. And does all the crazy stuff that I think Shaco players really like to try to do with Hallucinate. So these aren't all the bug fixes we're going to do. Uh, we still have some more, but we didn't want to just hold back the ones we had done while we finished the other ones. We're going to put these out. There's more Shaco bug fixes in store and we'll be getting those out as soon as possible. Talk to us about the upcoming Mordekaiser changes. We're having the amount of shield he gains from damaging minions, but we're increasing his early game shield generation to 30% from 25%, making him a bit more durable fighting champions, but weaker in a minion wave. We like Mordekaiser a lot. We think he's a really fun character, generally speaking, but he does get into kind of a, a movable object status in lane. That's mostly due to the rate of his shield generation when he has piles of minions around, which is pretty easy to do in the early game. So we made his shield only do half on minions, uh, and that's going to have hopefully two effects. One, it's going to make it so you can actually harass Mordekaiser effectively, and it's also going to make it so he's more incentivized to use his spells on champions to grant himself more shield. All right, so let's talk about Shen now. Ever since his last set of nurse, Shen fans have been begging to get some power back. This patch, we're doing some pretty new things with him. What kind of gameplay should we see from this? We actually increase some of his level 1 damages, which will help him jungle and help him very early in the lane. But then those things will start falling off on the base a little bit more back to reasonable levels. But since he can jungle now, and his level 1's a little better, we hope that's going to give him both a new place on the team and even out his play a little bit more. We actually buffed his AP ratios, which may seem like a little bit of a bizarre change. But we wanted to introduce choice to the build, so you could go full tank and be kind of taunt, stand united guy. Or you could be a little bit more hybridized, and you can use those items to kind of do some more late game damage in utility to show. Now let's discuss Oriana. She's been nerfed a few times recently, and we're hitting her yet again. Her damage numbers feel appropriate now, so what are you hoping to accomplish with a set of nerfs? We like how Oriana plays, and we like what she does, but in lane, it just creates a little too much harass and safety for her. So we want to take down that harass while not really affecting her teamfight ability uh, any more than we have to. A couple of things we're doing there is we're lowering the range on Q by 100. That's probably the biggest offender, and we're increasing the mana cost by 10. So eventually, you will have to go back to base and buy, and the range is going to make it so her positioning is a little bit more important. Tarek has a huge set of changes coming up. Every single one of his active abilities is getting changed in some form. Most interestingly, he has a brand new ultimate. Can you tell us what your goals are with this updated Tarek? The new ultimate is a PB AoE nuke that also uh, results in kind of a softer aura that gives Tarek some AD and AP and then gives allies half that amount. This will give him a feeling like he needs to be up in the front lines to get the massive effect out of it, which is good for Tarek because he is a little tankier than other supports. But it's also still a support style skill. I'm still helping my team. I'm still helping them succeed. Uh, one other thing that might seem confusing at first to look at is uh, the shatter damage decrease and cooldown decrease. Uh, the reason we did this is we just added a new nuke to him on, uh, on his ultimate. And that's, we didn't want to turn Tarek from a support character into a burst caster. So, but it'll make it so you, once you get in that fight, you can use shatter repeatedly and really get in there and kind of you know, do continuous damage to the team and uh, still be providing that support. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends patch preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top and leave us your thoughts on the upcoming patch in the comments below.